dear friends and welcome to Lakalama YouTube channel and welcome to the Knit Before Christmas video number three. So in this video we will see uh, what I promised you to knit before and what I actually finished knitting and I hope you will enjoy these Latvian houses uh, that are made in Latvia, handmade in Latvia, and they were brought to Canada for uh, by some people. I don't know whom, but my friend, she ordered them from Latvia, and then uh, she used it uh, for her kids when they were small. And when her kids grew up, she didn't need uh, those houses anymore, so she kindly gifted them to me, and I'm so happy and so thankful to have them. They are really. Uh, cozy and they look so Christmassy and it feels like people have light in their homes right so my video will be a little bit maybe die darker like I didn't turn on bright light so we can still enjoy um, those candles in the houses so first um, first part of this video I promised you that I would need this beautiful garland uh, which you saw in the beginning of this video I decorated my wall already with it and I finished it I knitted it and I really really been enjoying it for last weeks <clears throat> and as you could see I decided to have five Christmas trees instead of three so I'll color it here so we know that this project is finished so that's good makes me happy that i was able to finish it before christmas and then also in the first part of the knit before christmas i started to knit these nice christmasy socks i was really hoping to finish them um, before December and wear them in December and here is my first sock uh, but it's not blocked yet but I put it on a blocker so I finished it and I really love it and I'm sure yarn will bloom after washing and so one sock is ready and I started to knit second sock and here it is just the beginning but I really hope now that I'll finish them before Christmas and I can wear them Christmas Eve and also on 26th of December we are going on vacation on a, in a cabin so I'm really hoping that I can wear those socks in a cabin on our vacation so it would be still good and then I'll wear them maybe in the beginning of January yet and then I'll put them away and they'll wait till next Christmas so uh, I'm sure uh, I will color finish coloring first sock and I'll finish uh, uh, and I will color a little bit second sock so we can see uh, my progress <laughs> next time we see each other okay and then next I had this I planned this beautiful beautiful baby bonnet or hat out of uh, Sarlag Yak Don this yak made in russia and i bought it from warm wool gallery online store in canada that sells lots of luxury yarns and i finished it and it sits really well on my one year old daughter's hat so i'm happy i'm pleased with this project and i will just remind you that i knitted this hat and i used the pattern from Pearl Soho and it's a free pattern and I will uh, include link under this video so this project is finished and I'm really really pleased it's a really nice model and they have sizes uh, from babies to adult sizes so if you like it and you think it looks great um, so you can use that pattern I can recommend it it's nice so I'll color this baby hat and we know that it's finished. Then I was knitting a hat for my husband, also from the same yarn. That's how it looks before washing. It will bloom, of course, yet after washing. 
and it would be double sided beanie but what happened i didn't have enough yarn and yarn is somewhere in a mail coming uh, my way so i have just i uh, just need to finish a little bit maybe like so and when yarn arrives i will quickly finish it wash it and it would be ready to be gifted for christmas so i'll color uh, this hat a little bit but we'll just leave a little bit top not colored so we know that i still have to work a little bit on that project uh, next on my uh, next project that i was supposed to knit i was supposed to knit two pairs of socks kind of bulky weight socks uh, like these ones so one of them was supposed to be kind of blue pair blue is gray they are very super chunky super warm and they will be almost like slippers because i don't think you can wear them in your shoes because they are very bulky uh, so i finished them i blocked them i washed them and they're ready to be gifted after i show them to you i will wrap them up and put them in my box with Christmas presents because I can't really put them under Christmas tree because I have small kids and I have cat uh, usually it stays in my daughter's room but sometimes it comes out <laughs> so I will color this pair of socks uh, with my gray color because I didn't bring blue color with me but it still will show us that it's done and then I was supposed to knit for my 18 year old also bulky socks but uh, talking to her we realized that it would be nicer if I knit her uh, socks um, just that she can wear in her shoes and I used Peyton's crow sock yarn it's four ply it's in 50 grams it's 150 meters and colorway is sweet stripes so this pair of socks will be for my oldest daughter and they're also blocked and washed and done and ready to be gifted for Christmas. So I will just color them kind of stripey. So we know that um, they are done. And ready to, to be going to her owner. So that was all my projects that i worked on but i also have some new projects that i planned because it's only middle of december so why not to knit more i had some Peyton crow yarn left because i had two balls and that would be my four-year-old daughter asked me to knit matching socks so she would match with her older sister so i decided to knit two pa uh, one pair two socks but one pair for my four-year-old daughter so and it would be my project number nine but from week three from video three so i need to knit pair of little socks also for same daughter from this yarn i'll need same uh, garter stitch hat but she likes purple color and it would be project number 10 I dyed this yarn specifically for her because she wanted hat exactly from this yarn and she likes pinkish purplish colors and some blue so that will be hat for her which I need to quickly cast on and start knitting I would knit it maybe already but I really wanted to show you yarn first and then start knitting and another project that I need to make uh, I'm knitting uh, like my daughter who is four years old. She has some of these crowns. I also need them for my Etsy store. She has pink and purple and my son who is really obsessed with red color. He really wants red crown for Christmas. So my project number, number 11 will be a crown for my son from red acrylic yarn. Oh, and I didn't say uh, this purple yarn, it's a merino wool, 80% merino wool, 15 baby alpaca and 5 viscose. And then one more project that I want to finish before Christmas. It's a cowl from my husband. It would be pro project number 12. Oh, 12. 
from third video. I'll be using uh, this yarn. It's a uh, just a rustic 100% uh, wool yarn made in Canada and raised in Canada and I'll use one strand of this yarn brown and one strand of this gray 100% sheep wool and I'm um, sorry but I uh, started so I um, kicked them together and I started already knitting because I didn't have time to do a video but i had time to knit so i knitted it i started to knit it first in a stockinette stitch but it was i cast on too many stitches uh, so i ripped it back and i cast on here i have 101 stitch and i'm knitting on six millimeter needles and then i'm planning to felt it so it would be it's kind of bulky and that it would be windproof uh, and I want to gift it to him for Christmas. So I just need to knit here one third and it would be done and would be ready to be washed. That's it uh, for new projects for me to knit. And in, for, in part four, I would like, I will show them to you and I'll share my progress and let's see if I was able to finish it all before Christmas. So, and I'm very thankful for all your comments. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel and press bell so you wouldn't miss out on some other videos that will come out soon. Thank you very much. Bye.